Hello everybody and welcome. So the year four season 2.3 designer notes have recently been released in Rainbow Six Siege and I think that these charts really do tell us a lot about the latest season. Now for those of you that aren't aware of what these graphs actually are, it's basically a way for the devs to work out which operators need balancing. So you basically have the line across the bottom is how much that operator is picked and the line across the top is how often that operator is on the winning team. And first of all, as you can see here we are taking a look at year four season two attackers now do bear in mind and i do think this is a little bit misleading that these graphs are only based on ranked pc platinum and diamond so before you don't go screaming out that this chart is completely wrong and that fuse is picked a lot more times than what he is shown here bear that in mind that like i say this is ranked pc platinum and diamond only now the big one that obviously stands out to me here way down in the bottom left hand corner there is no surprise it is Glaz and with the amount of nerfs that he's had with this latest season it's no surprise that he's down there but what I do actually find a little bit surprising about this year four season two attackers graph is that there's not very many operators in and around that sweet spot but in fact there seems to be a lot of operators that are picked a lot more than what they were expecting and on the whole it looks like more are winning than again what they expected so people up there like Montaigne, Thermo, Ash, Twitch, Blackbeard, they're all picked way more than what Siege were expecting and they're obviously on the winning team more than what they would like. And so basically what we can learn from this graph of attackers is that some point down the line, let's take a look at Jackal there for example, pick rate percent is at about 67% roughly give or take and win delta is only 0.5%. So at some point Jackal is going to be very much on the devs radars to see what they can do to balance him out. And of course way down on the other end of the spectrum we've got Glaz down there but I mean it's obvious why right they had that massive nerf nobody picked him because he was pretty useless so again Glaz is very much going to be in the radar of the devs but how they bring him back up to that sweet spot I don't know maybe some of you guys can let me know in the comments section what you would do to Glaz to try and bring him back up to where he should be so that is your attackers for year four season two but let's go over and take a look at the defenders now this as you can see paints a very different picture and it seems to be that somebody's just got a handful of operators and just dropped them on the floor and this is where they've landed they seem to be absolutely all over the place you've got three operators that are in the sweet spot there being pulse mozzie and alibi but why are all the other operators just so vastly spread out like that it just seems really weird to see this graph in this state cap can is not one that i expected to be right up there with the almost wind delta percent of two but looking down on the bottom end we can can see that obviously to chanka way down there in the bottom left hand corner but if some of you may remember from previous graphs we've looked at like this clash is slowly on the increase she's getting picked a little bit more she's not on the winning team as much as what they would like but and then of course way up on the other end of the scale there you've got jaeger obviously and echo and we do know that echo is actually going to be getting a nerf and if you haven't seen the details of that patch notes for the test server i will leave a link in the description down below and a clickable annotation on screen now so you can go and check that video out to see some of the big changes coming within the test server at the moment there are some really interesting things there definitely worth going to check that video out if you haven't already seen it but anyway yeah like i say this defenders graph is just to me it really does seem all over the place and it really would be interesting to hear your guys thoughts on this both the attackers and the defenders but like i say when you are giving your opinion do bear in mind that these are for ranked pc platinum and diamond only which like i say in my opinion does doesn't really give it a fair balanced outlook but that's the way they do it that's the way it is they've also briefly gone over a current status for a couple of the operators and first of all it's twitch and they say that with phantom sight released they have increased recoil of the f2 assault rifle therefore her pick rate has reached more acceptable levels from 60 down to 43 however she continues to boast a high kd ratio from 1.25 to 1.17 and is still a very very lethal attacker with frost 
they said that along with Twitch's F2 recoil adjustment, they reduced frost mat health points. This led to frost mats being destroyed more often as they are now destroyed 75% of the time instead of 68 before Phantom Sight release. Now that's some interesting figures right there. And lastly, with Cade, to increase Cade's versatility, they added a nitro cell to his loadout, as I'm sure most of you will already know. This option has become more popular with 65% of people using it against 51% using barbed wire during Wind Bastion. But there we go. That's basically it for these designer notes for year four, season 2.3. Like I say, if you do want to see those changes to the test server with some really interesting changes, like I say, shields, echo, knock, there is a link in the description down below. So definitely do go and check that out. But for now, thanks a lot for watching everybody. I do as always appreciate your time. And until next time, goodbye.